He's faking. You think he's gonna come clean because you said his name? Back off. Only 13 gets to grab my nipples this time. You know, recreating the moment when you made us crap our pants isn't actually all that funny. That is sweet that you're worried about house. Unless the next stanza reads, hoping to fry my brain to death, I smoke some primo crystal meth. I'm not interested. You can't deny that this kid may be suicidal. We're not here to make him happy. We're here to diagnose him. It's an infection. A swab of the kid's water bottle turned up toxoplasmosis. I'll start him on pyromethamine. I had no idea he felt this way. Is there a therapist here that you can recommend? It might help more if you talk to him. He's not ready. If telling him the truth would help him stop feeling like this. If I knew that it would make him less confused, I'd tell him right now. But if she's wrong, we'd only make things worse. He obviously senses he's different. He's looking for answers. Every teenager feels different. He's sick. This isn't the time to spring this on him. Okay. When you give Jackson the antibiotics, will you please restart the testosterone? Sure. Another shot? I'm afraid so. It looks like the vitamins my parents gave me. Same red top. These aren't vitamins. What is it? I can't tell you that. You should ask your parents. She completely disregarded our instructions. He asked a question. I was tired of lying. I didn't tell him anything about his genetic condition. I want her removed from our son's case. I'm sorry for the position Dr. Hadley put you in, but I can't do that. She's a valuable part of Dr. House's diagnostic team. If he stays on the case, so does she. We have to deal with Jackson. These questions aren't gonna go away. He's not ready for this. Let's hope you're wrong. I'm sorry, I'll stay away from their son. No, you won't. In about 15 minutes, you're the only person that kid's gonna trust. If he needs a hand to hold, make sure yours is available. So what? Am I a boy or a girl? Some of your cells are male, and some are female. So basically, I'm a freak. Oh, no, buddy. You're just a little different. You've known this since I was born, and you never told me. We didn't want you to be confused. So you lied to me. Oh, please, sweetie, we were just trying to protect you. Don't. Just leave me alone. Get out. Let's go. Eventually, you have to talk to your parents again. No, I don't. No. I have this one friend. My basketball team, Will. We hang out a lot. I really like him. Now I'm worried that I... You know, like. Maybe I'm supposed to, because if I'm really a girl. Hmm. Do you feel like a girl? I like dancing more than basketball. Is that what that means? Jackson, as hard as it is right now, at least it's out in the open. You don't have to hide behind a mask. I 
I found the poem you wrote in your room. No matter how bad things get, killing yourself is never the answer. This was an English assignment. We were supposed to write a poem in the style of Sylvia Plath. You don't feel this way? I'm sad sometimes. I don't want to die. At least I didn't. Are these antibiotics supposed to make you nauseous? Yeah, they can. He hasn't responded to the medication at all? I'm afraid not. So, that means he's got the other thing? I'm so sorry. We'll start him on anti-inflammatories. If we're lucky, that will slow down the progression. My son has a death sentence, and I can't go in there and be with him because of you. I'm sorry. You can find a homework assignment and decide he's suicidal. Make it your own personal mission. I let my feelings... Oh, don't you dare apologize. Like it could absolve you of what you've done to me, my family. He was fine. I understand why you're angry. But this isn't where you belong right now. He won't let us in the room. He's a teenager. You're his mother. <laughs> This is not the time to start listening to him. Go be with him. Thank you. I didn't do it for you. You okay? I have issues with authority. You? We thought you were gone. Could he miss me? And what happened to your cane? She has to borrow it for some reason. Patient dead? Or do I need to do anything? He's got scleroderma. It's not scleroderma. Wow. Two days. You've already got two separate theories. You're back. Good. We noticed a drop in AST levels. It's not from the anti-inflammatory. It's because his kidneys got better from the testosterone. Which rules out scleroderma? When did you two come up with this? We ran into each other in the lobby. So what did we miss? When I say we, I mean you, because I wasn't here. We've ruled out Zollinger Ellison. That was a dumb idea. Why? Because it was wrong. Also toxoplasmosis, dehydration, SLE, various intersex disorders. Oh, crap. This kid like energy drinks? I saw some empty bottles in the team locker room. But energy drinks don't explain. Nice work. So, we're okay? Why wouldn't we be? Nice heels. This is all your parents' fault. Excuse me? Chug a lot of energy drinks before, during, and after practice. Your son came in here with simple dehydration. That's why he collapsed during the game. The ER treated him for that. It didn't help the pain. That's where the energy drinks came in. He put a strain on his kidneys, so he needed more time to rebound from the initial dehydration. Then why isn't he better? That's where your idiocy came in. Before we could give him another glass of water, you two insisted I do an MRI. So I go down a blind alley looking for a blind uterus, and my team injects him with contrast material. His kidneys have been healthy. We filtered out the contrast in a couple hours. Since they weren't, they went around and around eventually getting absorbed by his heart, his liver, his pancreas. Getting in trouble everywhere it went. Your son was fine when he got here. It was your freaked out overprotectiveness that nearly killed him. Nearly. He's young. A few weeks of dialysis, he should be fine. <gasps> you gave birth to a freak of nature. Doesn't mean it's a good idea to treat him like one. 